In this video, we will take a look at BizTalk 360 Throttling Analyzer. Uh, for those of you uh, who came to this link directly, it is actually a continuation of the previous video. You can sing, see the link URL in the screen. In the part one of the video, we covered uh, the basics of BizTalk Throttling and the challenges we typically face on uh, on tuning uh, throttling and performance and we also did a sample uh, scenario using load gen in this video we will see how bistock 360 throttling analyzer can help us understand the throttling conditions that's happening in our environment uh, which we have created in part one using load gen now let's take a look at bistock 360 throttling analyzer we have seen so far in the video like we have driven the system uh, with, with the unusual amount of load the system cannot cope with. And it took nearly six or seven times the time it normally would have taken for, the, for processing the messages just because the system didn't have enough resources to process it. And the main criteria for BizTalk is to maintain the stability of the system and it applied various throttling mechanisms to control the system incoming and outgoing rate and, and, and finally it processed those messages. So that's why BizTalk is highly tuned for throughput Okay, BizTalk 360 Throttling Analyzer is located under Platform Settings. You go to Throttling Analyzer and this is the screen. Uh, let me minimize certain things so you can get a better view. So this is the Throttling Analyzer and let's go through the screen in uh, first place. So there are various things in the screen. So it's, it's important you familiarize yourself with uh, what's in there. So the top bit is the, the filter criteria. So obviously the throttling is done at the BizTalk host level. So you need to choose the host uh, for which you want to see the activities. Uh, this drop down box lists all the hosts available in the system. And once you select the host, it will list down all the, the servers where the corresponding host instances are created for that host and this is a fully flexible uh, time selection window so you can, you can do various things like you can you can bring down uh, like this and, and and it's restricted to three hours maximum since uh, we don't want to uh, show too much data there are various controls so you can move it this way and and you can expand it and see uh, the, the whole week uh, uh, you you can move the cursor like this uh, you can just select a region uh, all those kind of activities so let me bring it back to between seven and eight uh, that's where uh, we are done the uh, testing and the next step is the, is the throttling settings for the host so based on the the host uh, you have selected you can see the the throttling current throttling settings so the idea behind that is to show all the information in one screen so that it's easy for you to uh, analyze uh, what's going on so it will list you all the, the, the throttling parameters for that host and, and the next step is it also gives you uh, certain information like whether the throttling monitoring uh, service is running uh, running uh, successfully in the background because that's very important uh, uh, for collecting the information. If this is not running, then you won't see any information. And also uh, there are two graphs basically. Uh, the, the top one is a published throttling graph and the bottom one is the delivery throttling graph. So public throttling happens when there are uh, when on the receive ports and orchestrations and delivery throttling happens on the orchestrations and send ports. There are various uh, uh, icons at the right hand side to, telling you exactly uh, what the numbers mean. So zero is no throttling, two is rate throttling and also the red ones, uh, not all the throttling uh, parameters are configured by default. Uh, uh, default when you create a host, so some of them are disabled. So the throttling analyzer give you a visual clue straight away like uh, which throttling is enabled and which one is uh, not enabled. So as you can, the system memory is not configured by default uh, and it also shows the corresponding uh, delivery throttling states. Another important factor we have done is uh, the giving a very context sensitive help. So you can click on one of these uh, little icons and it will it'll quickly show you uh, the the drill down uh, help for that particular state. So it's not it's not a static uh, text. All this information or, uh, or live information uh, based on your selection. So it shows you the host, the server, what type of throttling, uh, what state. It's a process memory throttling. Even though you only get numbers, it tells you the exact number. This is the configured value for this host. 
and it also gives you very useful information on the right like uh, what's the condition that triggered this uh, what action you can take and what is the mitigation strategy and also it uh, tells you the help location where you can get a bit more information and also if you want you can add your own content so if you if you're if you're tuning something and you know like this this these are the conditions it caused this scenario in the first place then you can add those things so the, the bottom uh, line is you get all the information required for throttling in one single place and 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 it gives you more visual clue let's uh, see what happened with our uh, test so we we done the test on the bistock server application and we did it between 7 12 and, and 7 7 17 but it took us 40 minutes or so to uh, uh, so to process it so let's take the time scale and then I'm going to do a, a get data okay so let me close this one it's not required so as you can see it just plots the the full picture uh, how uh, what happened in the in the environment and you can see at zero is a good thing so there's no throttling happened till 712 because we started our test only at 712 the, the system was healthy until that point and and as soon as we started the test it went straight into a throttling state so it's number two I, as you can click and then this is where it gets more interesting so number two is the throttling uh, rate based throttling and it tells you what's happening so the incoming rate is 15 outgoing rate is 14 and the rate over the overdrive what's configured for this host is 125 percent so the 15 percent it, it cross it 15 messages per second it crossed the threshold and and then the system went straight into the throttling state and since the number is not big i think it it came back to normal and straight it went to the process memory throttling state so let's click one of these and you can see this is changing so now from incoming outgoing rate it's now showing uh, the process memory problem and the process memory usage is 388 megabytes but the process memory threshold is set at 380 megabytes and and it and this it remained in the state for 11 seconds and and if, as i click okay the, this is basically it's steadily increasing and it dropped back to uh, rate based throttling and then it came back again to uh, again to process memory throttling and as you can see is so this system is throughout that uh, half an hour it's it's constantly been throttled and it's not working at its optimum level so that's on the on the on the on the publishing side and the same thing it, it tells you what's going on on the on the receiving side as well so for, uh, for on the delivery side as well so the number one is uh, it's a it's a rate throttling again so the incoming is zero and zero and it's 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 something going on and it's the, the process memory it's again it's a different configuration and and tells you exactly what the problem is and all these numbers what you're seeing here are not static text based on the host you have selected it tells you exactly like what's the configuration so it gives you a visual clue uh, uh, like uh, what's go what's going on in the system and it also gives you the full flexibility to drill down say for example if I want to see a specific period let's choose between uh, something like uh, like uh, 714 to 7 maybe even less 725 and let's get data and you can get a bit more details so so it's it's mainly process memory so it, it it allows you to drill down even further let's finally recap the core benefits of bistock 360 throttling analyzer Bistock 360 throttling analyzer provides near real-time visibility of the environment capacity. Uh, it collects data periodically every 15 seconds in your environment and keeps that data for seven days. So you should be able to uh, see your uh, environment throttling conditions in, in near real-time uh, visibility. Another core benefit of Bistock 360 throttling analyzer is the minimum level of Bistock expertise needed. Uh, we have put all the efforts in place uh, what, a, what a typical uh, Bistock expert will have into the tool. So you, so a, anybody with a b basic uh, Bistock knowledge should be able to understand throttling uh, much better uh, with Bistock 360 throttling analyzer. A Bistock 360 throttling analyzer is purely designed uh, just keeping a uh, throttling in mind uh, we understood the existing tools like Perfmon and uh, Logen uh, are not catered for uh, monitoring uh, throttling due to various relationship between the counters so so the Bistock 360 throttling analyzer is purely designed for uh, monitoring Bistock throttling 
And finally, uh, last but not the least, uh, it will help you save money and time. Uh, we are just not putting this for marketing purpose. We have seen that in practice, like uh, you save hours and hours wasted and uh, going through the performance draw, performance counters. Uh, uh, throttling analyzer gives you clues right out of the box and, and it helps you save a lot of time. We hope you enjoyed this announcement to Mr. 360. If you are interested, uh, please feel free to contact us uh, via the website.